Hi everyone, I'm Mina and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you're here. Be sure to check out my past two videos in this series talking about my college stats reveal. This is the third video in that series and I will be posting one more video talking about my award section in Common App. So I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on that video. Oh my gosh, guys, this section was so hard for me to fill out for whatever reason. It was probably one of the hardest parts of my application, and so I wanted to make this video in order to help you guys. If you are currently filling out the Common App and you're wondering what to put in your activities section, you have no idea where to start, what extracurriculars you should put in there, I wanted to make this video in order to try to tell you guys what I learned and maybe that would help you out. So I'm splitting this video up into two different parts. In the first section, I'm going to be going through what I learned when I was going through the process and any tips slash tricks that I have that could potentially help you guys get into your dream schools. And then in the second part, I'm going to be going through exactly what I put into Common App. So going into kind of what I learned and any tips slash advice that I have to give you guys, the first thing I would say is put your strongest activity first and then obviously order your other activities from best to last. And you might be wondering like, well, why would that matter at all? Colleges are still gonna look at all of your activities anyway, so what is the order you put them in matter? Well, you obviously want to put your best foot forward first. And this is actually proven in several studies. So for example, I read about a study a couple of years ago that had the exact same applicant applying to this job and they were interviewed by two different people. And in one interview, they talked about the positive parts of their application and then the negative parts secondly. And then for the other interview, they talked about the negative things first and then the positive things later. And the study showed that when you talk about the positive things first and then the not necessarily negative, but the less important things later, you're already gonna have that connection with your reader and they're already gonna be super, super impressed by your application. So you wanna make sure that they have that positive influence from you first before they read the other parts of your application. So it's really important to put your best foot forward. My second piece of advice is you have 10 slots in the activity section. You do not have to fill them all up, but it, is recommended that you kind of put as much information as possible. But in the case that you have too many activities and you can't fit it into your activities section, I want to say that you want to show what you're passionate about. Colleges don't care about some random thing that you did for like two months if it's not really that important and if it's not important to you. They wanna see what you're all about and they want to see how good a fit you are for their school. And so you wanna put what you're passionate about. So rather than putting some random activity that you started like your senior year of high school, you wanna put an activity that you've been doing for a really, really long time because that'll show colleges that you know for sure that you're super interested in that subject and that's what you wanna pursue. My third piece of advice is that you have to be super concise when you're talking about your activities. You only have like 150 characters to fill up all of those years of work. And so you wanna make sure that you put all of the information you can into those 150 characters. It's really important that you try to fill up as many characters as possible in your position title in your activities section, as well as your organization name. So for your position slash leadership description, you have 50 characters. Then for your organization name, you have 100 characters. And then obviously you don't wanna take up the valuable 150 characters that you have for the description. So you want to put whatever you can possible into the position name as well as the um, organization name and that way you have more space to put what you really want to put down. And then my last piece of advice for you guys is don't repeat anything that you put in your awards section. So my next video I'll be talking about what I did for my awards section in Common App. You don't want to repeat any information in your application, you only have like 150 characters in your description. So you don't want to waste that when you can put those award slash honors into the other section.
Okay, so going into my activities and exactly what I put into Common App, if you see me looking down here, I actually have my computer pulled up with my Common App application. So hopefully this is going to help you guys. So for my first activity, I put that I was the Director of Online Systems of Inner Alliance Leadership Council. Inner Alliance is basically a nonprofit organization based in the Cincinnati tri-state area that works towards getting high school students more interested in IT careers, as well as keeping the talent that they have in Cincinnati. And so I was a part of Inner Alliance for four years, so 9th through 12th grade, and this played a huge role in my life and I was able to do a lot with Inner Alliance. And so the reason why I put that as my first activity is because I'm super passionate about it. It's um, something that has been a huge part of my high school career and I want colleges to see that that is what I'm passionate about and it obviously applies to the major that I applied for which is computer science and so I thought that this would be a really really great strong uh, foot forward for them to see first in my application. So I'll talk about what I put in the description of this activity. So I said organize Tech Olympics and hackathons 500 plus attendees. If you don't know what Tech Olympics is, it's the nation's largest student-run technology conference that the Inner Alliance Leadership Council, which I'm the director of online systems for, helps to run every single year. And so I thought that that was really important because it is nationwide reach. Anything that you have that has a super wide reach is going to be really important and really impressive to the people reading your college application. Then I talked a little bit about what I did and kind of part of my job description. And so obviously by just those 150 characters, you can tell a lot about what I did and how much it means to me. Going into my second activity, I talked about how I was an undergraduate student researcher um, at Western Kentucky University through Dr. Uta Ziegler's lab. Dr. Ziegler was my research mentor at WKU while I was a junior and senior high schooler in the Gatton Academy. If you don't know what Gatton is, I talked about it a little bit in my past videos, but um, it's basically a boarding school for high schoolers at Western Kentucky University. Um, so in the description, I said, analyze types of selection process of Monte Carlo Tree Search AI algorithm for dots and boxes, write abstracts and reports, present poster at conferences. For a lot of my colleges, I also submitted my abstract and research paper as part of their research portfolio. So I didn't want to put way too much information just about my research. For my third activity, I talked about how as a data analytics paid intern, for PNG Olay and I said it was during the summer it was full-time and then part-time during school. For my description I said Data Studio and Google Analytics certification. So those were two certifications that I received while I was a, being a paid intern for Olay. And I talked about some different projects that I worked on. So I said air tracking process, creative website testing, accurate data collection, design Gmail campaign ads. Going into my fourth activity, I talked about how as a software developer paid intern for the University of Cincinnati's IT Solutions Center. So again, this is very similar to my last activity since it's an internship. So in the description, I talked about what I did as an intern. So I said upgraded and developed customer applications, user interfaces with backend databases and MS Azure AI engine for youth risk offenders. My fifth activity is actually something that's completely like unrelated to my past activities, but something that I'm really passionate about. So if you don't know, I do have three American Eskimo dogs myself. They were um, in some of my past videos. I, I really love dogs a lot. And so when I found out that there were so many dogs and cats in local animal shelters, I wanted to find ways that I would be able to help because having three dogs of my own, it really breaks my heart to see that those dogs don't have any place to call home. And so I wanted to help out in any way that I could. And so I started this organization called Crochet for Care, where basically I created a website for, and I'm gonna put that link in the description below if you would like to learn more about the organization. Um, but I collected handmade crochet mats and toys, as well as like other food donations um, to give in support of local animal shelters around where I live. And I also talked about how I started developing this app to make the animal adoption process easier. And I submitted that to the Congressional App Challenge and I got second place in that competition. Going into my sixth activity, 
Um, I talked about how I was a programmer as well as a varsity letter recipient for FIRST Robotics. For, I'm actually very unique in that I've been a part of FIRST Robotics for the past 12 years and I've been able to go through all four stages of FIRST Robotics. So if you don't know, FIRST Robotics consists of four different levels. There's Junior, FLL, FLL, FTC, and FRC. And then you kind of switch between those levels based off of your age. I'm probably one of a handful, if not the only one in Kentucky, who has gone through all four levels in the span of 12 years. And my team did a lot of outreach projects that were really impactful to my community. So for that description, I talked about how we raised $150,000 to create Northern Kentucky's first makerspace, as well as we got a $6.8 million grant to open a STEM high school in our area called Ignite Institute, and we were also World Finals Connect Award finalists. I did talk about FIRST Robotics a lot in uh, many of my essays because obviously I did it for 12 years, so it's had a huge impact on my life and making me who I am today. But I was very careful to not to repeat the stuff that I put in this activity section um, and the part that I put into my essays because it, the college applicant readers do not want to keep hearing over and over and over again exactly what you did. They want to hear, they only want to hear it once and make sure that it sticks into their mind. Going into my seventh activity, I put how I was the co-founder slash facilitator of our tri-state wide inner alliance girls who code club. This is actually a club that we started this year and we worked really hard to get this club going. As one of the facilitators, I helped to run all of the club meetings and organize the tri-state wide club. And so in my description, I put coordinate slash conduct high school workshops and prepare curriculum. And then as part of one of my internships through Girls Who Code, I put that I helped to build Olay Super Bowl website pages as one of three high schoolers out of 185,000 Girls Who Code club members. And we raised $250,000 for Girls Who Code. So that was one of the really huge projects that I've had the opportunity to work on, which was really impactful to me. And so I wanted to make sure that I highlighted that in my application. Going into my eighth activity, I know that this is long, but we're almost there, there's only 10. I talked about how I was an avatar community leader for my school, the Gatton Academy. So as the avatar, we're basically school representatives and we give tour guides to prospective students who come and want to see our campus. Um, we go on sp certain panels and talk about our experience while I can. And we're basically just trying to be a good student voice to help other students be inspired to <laughs> apply to Gatton. And then here in this section, it was unique because I actually put um, another job description. So these are two completely separate jobs, but they are both, they both fall under student government. And so I wanted to put them into the same section. Um, I put how I was the vice president of my math honor society uh, chapter at my sending school. And so I talked a little bit about what I did as vice president. So I just said, um, I led some meetings and then planned activity. Going into my ninth activity, I again talked about research, but this research is different from what I talked about before because now it's my more independent research and this is what I competed in science fair with. So I talked about um, a couple different projects that I worked on. Um, so for one of my science fair projects, I actually developed something called Crypto Dragons. Um, I was inspired by CryptoKitties, if you know what that is, but it's basically a crypto collectible that you're able to sell and trade on the OpenSea.io market. So I talked a little bit about that in my description. And then I talked about some awards that I received while competing in science fair. And the reason why I put those awards here as opposed to in my honor section is because this is more related to a specific activity that I worked on as opposed to just like a single honor that I've received. So I wanted to put that in this section. Yay, we finally made it. My last activity, I know that that was very long. Uh, but in my last activity, I talked about how I was the academic team member, varsity member since freshman year as part of Ryle's Governor's Cup team. So I put that I competed for a total of nine years. And then I talked about the various awards that I received while uh, applying to academic team. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that my tips were helpful. Let me know if they were in the comments section down below. And I hope that this kind of inspired you guys going through the college application process. I know that it's long. I know that it's a lot of hard work. <laughs> Believe me, I just went through it. 
Um, but there is the light at the end of the tunnel and I just want to say that I really wish the best of luck to you guys going through the college process. Um, you're almost there, you're almost to the end. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I would also appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!